Today we honor the life and legacy of civil rights icon Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Groups held events all across the metro area today and throughout the country. The Hallmark event happening right here in Atlanta, Dr. King's birthplace, where hundreds gathered at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church. They say his messages of justice, equality, and understanding remain relevant today. Woke up this morning with my mind. Through song and spoken word. But I want to be there in love yes. and in justice yes. and in truth yes. and in commitment to others. Hundreds of people of all backgrounds, all hues, gathered in the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and everything the civil rights icon stood for. We must build on our legacy of inclusion. We must stand united in support of our minority communities, our LGBT brothers and sisters, our immigrant and refugee communities. We must be an example that each and everyone in our communities will be treated with dignity and respect. Dr. King's dream is coming closer to becoming a reality. It is God who gives us these dreams, and it's God who fulfills them. Now it's time to continue dreaming. That dream of equality now facing challenges, according to some. Reverend Raphael Warnock of Ebenezer pointed the finger directly at President Donald Trump, saying the president dishonors that legacy after recent reports surfaced that he allegedly made crude comments about Haiti and African countries. A proclamation without an apology is hypocrisy. It makes a mockery of the man we remember. Mr. Trump, you need to repent. Dr. Ben Carson, the president's secretary of housing and urban development, spoke later. And you know, I'm a, a member of this administration, and I don't agree with the president about everything that he said. <laughs> or, or of how it's said. I don't even agree with everything that I've said in the past. You know? In a rousing keynote speech, Dr. Bernice King urged everyone that moving forward on message is the best way to make her father's dream a reality. No matter who is in the White House, no matter who is in the State House, no matter who is in City Hall, if we don't have the right spirit and the character to tackle these issues, all we're doing is moving players on the board. Following today's commemorative service at Ebenezer Baptist Church, hundreds took to the streets for a parade. The events used as an opportunity to celebrate Dr. King's life while calling attention on injustices facing millions of Americans. Organizers say they want the march to draw attention to a variety of issues, including education, housing inequality, conflict resolution, and voter registration. The march route ran along Auburn Avenue from Peachtree to Jackson Streets. Meanwhile, in the nation's capital, people gathered for a special wreath-laying ceremony at the MLK Memorial site. Members of the Trump administration, including Interior Secretary Ryan Zink and FBI Director Christopher Wray, were on hand for that ceremony. They joined King's son, Martin Luther King III. He called for more to be done to address the, quote, triple evils of poverty, racism, and war. But what I'm here to do is to look to the future, to figure out how we as a nation can come together as the nation that we always have been, to not just provide leadership in our nation. Certainly we must address the triple evils of poverty, racism, militarism, and violence. My dad and mother dedicated their lives for that eradication. Today would have been Dr. King's 89th birthday. Marissa.